Hello everyone, I'm Mike and today I bring you my 2019 performance for the right price build. Let's make it simple, a problem and a solution. I needed a computer that was able to compile huge piles of code as quick as possible, run several virtual machines which will be individually performing different demanding tasks, render all my videos without struggling, and to play most AAA games on a high to ultra graphic settings at a 2K resolution with simultaneous recording. To be able to do this without spending too much, I started scouting the prices for several individual components until the prices dropped to a reasonable range. For the motherboard I chose an ASUS X399A, the CPU is a Threadripper 1920X, the RAM are two 16GB um, G-Skill sticks. The graphics card will be a RX Vega 64 from ASUS. And the uh, power supply will be a 750W Be Quiet Pure Power 11, which should be more than enough to handle everything, even with a heavy workload. For the storage, I will be using one Samsung M2 SSD 970 with 500GB. A uh, second SSD from Crucial with 500GB and three pieces of 4TB uh, Western Digital Blue. The cooler is a somewhat complicated subject. I originally bought a Corsair H115i for around 100 bucks, but I ended up replacing it. The Corsair pump died on me within 5 minutes of running. Usually I would send it to RMA or back to the factory, but this is the third time a Corsair pump died on me. Fool me once, shame on me, fool me twice, RMA. There's not going to be a third one. So I just returned it and replaced it with the Enermax Lictech TR4 version 2. Which despite being pricier I got on eBay for around 50 bucks. Regarding the case I chose for this build, I got the NEDs AI Crystal Cube Lit. I gotta admit I have a weakness for cube cases and this one really caught my attention because it has an easy accessible dust filter in the front, top and bottom, tempered glass and an awesome dual chamber design for better airflow and pretty much hiding all the cables, especially since I did not get a modular power supply. Unlike most videos in this channel, I will remain silent except at the end where I show you my configuration and benchmarks result. So enjoy this little build uh, video montage and see you in a bit.
Now that everything is set up and the Windows installation finished, the only things I installed was Firefox and Glasswire. Um, I will be setting up the two of the disks in RAID 1. Do remember that having a mirrored disk is not a substitute for having proper backups. This just ensures that you will not lose all the data in case one of the disks decides to die. This is uh, my final disk layout. The M2 SSD is where Windows is installed. The crucial SSD is for my workspace. The data is the um, two Western Digital 4 tera disks in RAID 1. And the third uh, 4 tera disk is split into two partitions. One for game storage and the second one for uh, backing up all my software and related installers. Finally moving to the benchmarks, they seem to be on pair with what's expected for the stock configuration. A 3D mark of 1726, a Nova Bench score of 3600 and everything performing as expected on the user benchmark report. One thing that was bothering me was the results of um, the RAM. But unlike what the user benchmark reports, all of the RAM sticks are performing at the speed I configured them to. That was pretty much it. For now I will not be performing any overclock. Uh, this upgrade should satisfy me for some years to come. If you have any questions regarding this build or how is it performing so far, or if I would recommend it and so on, feel free to ask in the comments below. Finally, I hope you enjoyed this build video. Feel free to smash that subscribe button for more tech randomness. Thank you very much for watching and I hope to see you next time.